Today I'm at Close Burn, which is 46 Laidbury's Walk. Now this property is a perfect location. We are just a five, 10 minute walk into the center of St Andrews. And you're also located, as, as you can see, just at the back of me here down this private road, have access to Laidbury's, which is just right there. So perfect location here for both town life as well as that quiet country living style. So as I say, located down this private road here, you can see we have plenty of parking space here. We also have the garage just at the end there. So this property gives us that lovely log cabin look to it, but has a great amount of space throughout. And as I say, we've got that private road that brings you down here. So we're nice and peaceful. Now this property is really deceptively spacious. So we'll come in, you can see nice and bright already. Now it's a bit of a cloudy day today, but you'll still be able to see the fact that we are south facing here. So we're gonna go into the living room, which on a great day where the sun is shining, it's gonna be full of all that natural sunlight. What an amazing size living room that we have here. You can see we've got that great big window as well. Now the garden for this property is just, it's something else, it's absolutely gorgeous. And we even have the river that runs along the bottom there, which we'll have a look at later on in this video tour. So you can see, again, just what a great size living room that we've got here. Now you might be able to think, oh, there's plenty of space for dining in here as well, but you don't even need it because we have a great dining kitchen just along at the other end of the house, which we'll have a look at as well, as three double bedrooms. So here's just a little sneak peek onto the garden before we make our way down there. We've got a beautiful mature garden. And just right down there at the bottom, Got a little pathway just where that bush is that takes us down to the river as well. We've got those patio doors there that lead us out onto the deck end. So on a nice day, we'll say as we come into summer, hopefully we'll get some nice weather and that will be the perfect spot for being able to sit out and enjoy the sun. So we'll get a better look at that as we go through. Now we've got a great amount of storage as you've got your entrance door just as we came in there. You've got your first spacious pantry cupboard just in there. Now we have three double bedrooms in this property. So we've got first bedroom here. So all nice and neutrally decorated. This looks out onto the front of the property and you can see just how private it is even being at the front there. So a really good sized double room. Even the hallway is really nice and spacious as well. We have our second bedroom here and this looks over to the garden. Again, all nice and neutrally decorated. We do have our big fitted wardrobes in this room as well. There's a little sink there. And again, on a sunny day, you're gonna have all that south facing sun coming shining in those windows. Now we have not only a lovely shower room, but we also have this WC here. So you've got the two bathroom options there. So perfect for the size of property. And we have our lovely shower room here. As you can see here, it's all nicely tiled. Toilet sink, got a little medicine cabinet, vanity sink there. And then obviously we've got our lovely big walk-in shower. So a really good size. Now this is perfect if you do want that one level accommodation. Everything is just obviously situated on the ground floor here with it being the bungalow. And you've got that nice big walk-in shower as well. Now, again, we've got storage continues. You can see here the size of pantry cupboard that we've got. Near enough another room in there, to be honest. <laughs> so a great space that we've got. And also some more storage in here. So we can see there, even more storage space as well as the boiler. And then we have our master bedroom located just along at the end of the hallway here. So an amazing sized room. Again, nice big wardrobes there. So plenty of space in here for a king size bed as well as any other furniture that you would like. Look at those nice little spotlights on the wall there. And this looks out just onto the side of the property. And again, one of the best rooms that we have is this gorgeous dining kitchen. So plenty of space here for our dining table or even if you wanted that dining living space as well. We've got our kitchen there. Again, all this space over here as well. So. I mean, you do not get too many kitchens that are just as big as this. This is perfect family space. Now 
And again, we've got pantry cupboard in there. And we've got this little porch area off to the side here, which has been set up for facilities to house a washing machine. So you can see the connections are all just set up there. I'll just head out the side door here. So again, you've got that ramp there. So if you do require the one level accommodation, it property really, really suits it. Got access from the garage there. You can see the Whirly gig as well. So that gate just takes us right up to the front of the property. Of course, the rain has just started as we come out here. You can see as we come round there, we've got the deck in just to the front, at the back of the property there. Got this lovely little planter bed, which you could really make the most of there as well. So great space, absolutely gorgeous garden that we have here. Now we've got the pathway that runs just down to the side there. So I'm going to go down to the bottom and let you see just how close we are to the river. So you can see us down at the bottom of the garden here, just how much space we've got to offer. Now, as it comes round as well, we can go a little bit further down where we've got the path brings us out just there. We've got this cute little wooden bridge that takes us down where we've got this decking area. Lovely little bench there as well. Now, if it wasn't for the rain, we would actually be able to hear the river right now because we are located literally just over that wall. So, if we go down. You can see here, you've got the brown that runs through Laidbury's right along the back of the property here. 